I'm Jim Steffen. I'm an ecologist here at the Chicago Botanic Garden and I work on oak woodland restoration. Uh, the area we're standing in now is part of McDonald Woods, uh, which is a, approximately a 100 acre oak woodland. One of the main problems we have in McDonald Woods is uh, invasive species, and uh, the primary invasive plant species that we deal with is common buckthorn. And you can see the, the dense green leaves of common buckthorn behind me. This time of the year is a good time of year to look for buckthorn because it holds its leaves longer than the native vegetation does and so almost anything that you see green this time of year is an invasive species and mostly it's common buckthorn. The management that we do for common buckthorn is to cut the plants down mostly during the winter time. We, we cut large uh, buckthorns down that can be 30 feet tall and uh, we herbicide the stumps so they don't re-sprout. Buckthorn will produce 10 or 20 stems for every one you cut down if you don't herbicide them. So we use a, a, a selective herbicide that we apply just to the stumps and that prevents them from re-sprouting so we don't have to deal with them later. The reason we're getting rid of buckthorn is that it's a non-native species. It uh, adds a lot of nitrogen to the woodland. Uh, nit excess nitrogen is not good for natural plant communities. They don't compete well when there's a lot of nitrogen available. It also produces dense shade, which uh, shades out the herbaceous cover, the grasses and sedges and wildflowers that should be in the understory. Common buckthorn is fairly easy to identify, mainly this time of the year because, like I said, it's the only plant just about that has green leaves on it yet this time of the year. It also has uh, thorns, it's called buckthorn, and, and usually right at the very tip of a twig there's a sharp part of the stem that sticks out between two buds, and that's one of the thorns. On some of the older plants you'll find thorns like that further down on the stems. It also has black fruit on it, um, and normally this time of the year you can find branches that are just loaded with the, the uh, black fruits of the buckthorn and especially after the leaves drop you'll see the berries more easily and that's the prim primary way that it gets uh, moved around the area is that birds eat those fruits but the fruits aren't real palatable to them and they usually don't feed on them until they've been frozen a number of times so it's later in the fall or mid winter is when the birds are eating them a lot and then uh, the chemicals in the fruit makes it go through their system really fast so they drop the seeds out very quickly after they leave the, the plants and so the seeds get dispersed fairly close to where the, the plants were growing originally. Here's an example of a buckthorn that we cut down that gives you some idea of the size of the, the ones that we're dealing with and we cut them into about eight foot lengths and then we drag them to an area where it's fairly open and we put them in a pile and maybe a week or two later we'll burn the, the piles to get rid of all the material that we cut and then we'll scatter seed into these burned areas. To some, actually some of the, the rarer species of herbaceous plants in the woods grow in these burn scar areas, that's sort of their habitat. So we'll scatter seed of some of those things.